Um, anyway, if you hate going into Subway and ordering your sandwich from perhaps the least happy of all food service staff in the world and smelling like Subway the rest of the day, today is For your like, day. And uh, how much is a foot long now? Like 25 bucks? Oh, they're so expensive. They're like at least $18. Yeah. 25. <laughs> <Yeah>. 25. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You are! No, no, no. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Good morning! And welcome to episode 1083 of Hard Factor. It is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. Wes has faux pas, the power of SIGs, an invasion, and child labor. All of that in the cup of coffee in the big time to start us off. Yeah. Get ready to be appalled. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, well, stay appalled, right, Will? Because what do right. I next? <laughs> you sure will, because Mark's got uh, pedos and penis stuff on deck. That's right. If you think mm. of the Venn diagram, one circles pedos, one circles penis stuff, and then there's a lot in the middle. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, a long trip in the dark room uh, to start this day off, uh, yeah, and then dark after that, room. <laughs> and, a, and then after that, we're really we're really gonna walk out of the dark room into the fog because I've got the frog of war in the hole, and that thing is riveted. Let me tell you. And Pat uh, has the Eggman to close things out today. I am the Eggman. Eggman. Egg the I'm excited about the Eggman. Uh, oh, before I forget, trivia. He says it after the walrus, right? It's I'm the walrus, and then I'm the Eggman. Yes, trivia. No, no. It's, trivia is this Friday. I am the uh, walrus comes second. That would be a great trivia question. Uh, but right. may, they may ask that this Friday. They Who may not. Who is the Eggman? Michael may ask it. Trivia, as always, uh, with our host, Mike Wade, is going to be incredible this Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern, usually, uh, November 18th. Send in the car tier. Patreon.com slash heart factor is how you get in on that. I, I have a trivia question for you guys. I didn't pass it on to Mike. Wait, I was going to, but I didn't. So I, I think I should drop it here on the show. It might be fun. Is it? Sure. Okay. So I was looking to see which f sports franchises still have Native American mascots, right? You had okay, the yeah. Cleveland Indians, right? Yeah. Pretty pretty much it's the Seminoles, the only people left. But, pretty uh, much, yeah. Yeah, the R words. The tribe. But it, it made me it made me do a little dive, and there were two other the at Chiefs least at, at least two other team names that are representative of a group of people in professional sports. Do you guys know what they are? Cowboys, Vikings, uh, a little bit different than that. Cowboys, Vikings, like it's a, like a like a cultural group of people. Blackhawks. Wow. The Blackhawks are still Native American, mm. but it's the, it's the Celtics oh. and the Yankees. Knicks. What about the Knicks? It, what is a Knickerbocker? A Knicker, I think it's a New Yorker, right? Is that true? Or it's like somebody who moved to New York with what a about the Minutemen. Yeah, I don't know. Syracuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, at least it's two. Well, it's yeah. okay as, lo as long as it's about white people, Pat. White Americans is fine. What about the pirates? What? And what about nobody the pirates. Else. <laughs> what do you want? Dolphins. <laughs> Pat, you know the rules, man. Uh, also, I got a trivia <laughs> question for you guys. Uh, okay. Which scarf looks better with the R.I.P. Harambe tank top? Is it? That's the, the MJF scarf is what the that Burberry? is. Yeah, this is the Burberry. Yeah, the Burberry. Yeah. The yeah. Burberry yeah. or the LSU scarf? LSU. LSU. Not even close. Okay. I mean, yeah, they're, I yeah, they're both. Yeah. Not even close. Um, I should have worn the LSU. Pat, the I, have an, I, the I have a trivia question for you. Will your yeah. brother be on to play the after game so that we can all, because people are asking, so we can play that fun. I'll, I'll ask Brandon. I'll ask Brandon and see if he's available. He, he very well could be available. He could not be. He's a busy guy, but I don't know. Well, I'll, well, I'll find out tomorrow. It might it might add some fun to the after trivia game. So That's, true. So, yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay. He is a movie trivia expert. Fun to bet on. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's do the news. What do you say? Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. Quick reminder, uh, that man's birthday, we are still celebrating at Macho Man's birthday. It was uh, yesterday, but the merch sale is going off, go going on. I got a, a DM hmm. from a guy saying that his birthday is the 17th. Ooh. He wanted me to extend it. And because all you cheap sons of bitches haven't bought much merch, we're just going to go ahead and extend it. So 20% off all the uh, Macho Man. The next Man. two days. Yeah, the next oh, two goodness. days. 
Well, Everyone I mean, loves well, to feel special, don't we'll they? We'll probably go all week, to be honest with you. I Macho mean, Man deserves uh, a, a full week. Let's be serious. Yeah, he really yeah. does. He really all right, does. so you'll have until Monday, okay? And we should do it for his death week, too. But yeah. absolutely. definitely this week. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just get in there and buy some goddamn March, will you? The cream um, of the crop design, I mean, seriously, get in on it. It's Heart the disease awareness week. Put out. That's right. We're going to come up with a, a blood splatter pattern for his death week. Uh, there you go. Oof. Yeah, out of love because that's the way he would have wanted it. That's right. Yeah, he enjoyed a good joke. You know, yeah. when I watched uh, what, so, someone in the Heart of Hive shared a, a video of Macho Man uh, elbow dropping a mouse on the Weird Al Yankovic show. Yeah, oh, yeah. and that he was, was in. That had to have been photo CGI'd, right? I, they obviously removed the mouse before he, yeah. he jumped. Up. But <laughs> it was the coolest outfit ever. It made me think that like Hulk Hogan. I know that Hogan and Macho Man were rivals, and Hogan was arguably a bigger star. But he just wasn't a better performer. He wasn't. No one beats the Macho Man. I mean, like I mean, Hulk, Hogan arguable. is a poor man's Macho Man. No, they're both excellent performers. It's, it's the, a different yeah. styles for sure. Here's the, the Macho problem. Man is, is amazing, Hogan. But. What looked like a fucking Greek god, right? So he, he didn't bigger, have to perform yeah. as well. He just had to flex, and then he called to the crowd to listen. He's like, "I can't hear you," and then he did right. flex. When you can power slam, yeah. When you can body slam, uh, what's Andre the Giant? You can you get away with what? Well, Macho Man, he only did steroids so when six, it was eight. legal. No, I mean, but I'm saying if Macho Man was built, he's also like eight inches shorter. If Macho Man had uh, the physique of Hulk Hogan, right? If we he wouldn't be able to size, sell the shirt because he'd be the most famous. Icon in the history of of, the of all time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the world. Okay, yeah. dwarfed him in size. Yeah, agree to disagree. Okay, <laughs> I agree. With you. He's a great performer. Yeah, I'm just saying Fantastic Hogan had it easier because of his body. Yeah, yeah. Macho um, Man had to work with what he was given. That's right. Know. Let's get to the joke of the day, guys. This one uh, was sent in from Hard Factor Zach R. Uh, so there's a nun taking a bath, and she hears a knock on the bathroom door and it startles her because she's naked. So she says, who is it? And the man says, it's the blind man. So she's like, oh, OK, come on in. And he comes in and as he's coming in, he says, hey, nice tits. Where do you want the blinds? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. It's, it's funny. The blind man. The blind yeah. man. Yeah. It's the blind man. Dude, he's always knocking on bathroom doors. Ooh, now <laughs> I can see. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me, the blind man. Oh, sister. Well, that body cured me. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get to the, the news. Heavily requested story out of China is proving today that the power of cigarettes is real. Uh, yeah. This is 50 year old Uncle Chen. And he is Big Tobacco's new favorite person after he ran a marathon that's 26.2 miles in three hours, 28 minutes and 45 seconds. Whoa. And the entire time he ran, he was either smoking cigs or lighting up another one to give him power. I mean, that's power. not why. It, why did yeah. he do this? Yeah, because he loves cigarettes. Power. Loves that's how cigs. he trains. The yeah. power of cigs. Yeah. This is the game. He was power. trying to beat his previous record of uh, uh, under yeah. under 83 cigs. No, I right. get it. I get yeah. it. Non if that's if that's what you feel gives you the strength to keep going step by step that you're going to keep lighting. It's his water. Yeah, I wouldn't say I get it. I have a lot of questions. This is what, what this is what puts him at ease is this nice cigarette. This, the man ran a sub eight minute mile uh, for twenty six point two miles, according to this run pace calculator that somehow wow. exists. Um, this so. is like a way more intense version of like a, a, a fighter getting like a. A, a, a semi-permanent tattoo or wearing a logo on their outfit like he, yeah was he doing it for a brand i think he probably done right that's what i'm getting at brand yeah well let's see doesn't look like it <laughs> no nah, he's just wearing his own teeth. he's doing it for the enjoyment of it yeah. is what he's doing yeah. Yeah. yeah and to prove that he's a badass this actually the is his <laughs> this isn't his first marathon either and he's run in 2018 he ran the uh gang zoo marathon in three hours and 36 minutes and in 2019 he ran the uh Zeman marathon in three hours and 32 minutes and i quote from the new york post proving that not only is smoking not hindering his performance but it may actually be improving it uh, wow. That's their quote, not that's mine. Gotta, and I, that's got to piss off the people he's passing. Like when oh, they they were complaining about his secondhand oh, smoke for sure. His secondhand <laughs> smoke, <laughs> you can smell him coming up to you. But it's really like, affecting me. Is it? Is it? Is it really affecting you? No, it's just no. embarrassing them. Yeah, yeah. it's embarrassing because yeah. the guy's smoking and he's sprinting yeah. past them. Yeah, yeah. somebody stop me. Yeah, people. There was lots of like, yeah. how many obese Chinese are there? Because those people at the back were definitely saying that. They were like, that's my why my time was slow. I feel like most 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 obese Chinese you see just when they're kids, you know, right? Like you, you've America. seen a lot of fat Chinese kids, but not a lot of fat Chinese adults. Yeah, they yeah. eat a lot of pork over there. That guy Peng Zai, who was who's 
boys with Donnie, who I technically he's pretty thick in a drinking competition. Mm -hmm. They call him like the fat Chinese guy. That's his nickname. He's, a thick boy. And he's like yeah. definitely not huge. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's That's a fat for China. Four C's. Yeah. 220. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of fat guys, I know we're all sandwich guys here. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, hard if hard factor doesn't work out, we could probably, you know, do a podcast called Let's Talk Sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, and, man. And it would be wildly day. successful. <laughs> it would be a lot. I mean, I live in the sandwich <laughs> capital of the world. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Lucky you. What's the Kept best one you've had recently? Oh, my God. I, I ordered a sure. $20 sandwich today. It was a prosciutto, mozzarella, <laughs> tomato, basil. There you go. You might Always eat, on you, the lookout. You mind eating a little bit of it when we talk about it? <laughs> oh, man. In this hey, economy, we got today, boys? Making, my own, making my own grilled do cheeses it a lot. Slower. Extra ingredients. Do it sexy. Yeah. We get real into it. Let me, well, let me ask you, Mark, I know how you feel about Subway. Have you guys tried the new menu, the great garlic? Have you tried it? I didn't know there was a new menu. There is a new menu. It's always it, a the, new menu. It's right? pretty good. The great garlic is pretty good. Um, anyway, if you hate going into Subway and ordering your sandwich from perhaps the least happy of all food service staff in the world and smelling like Subway the rest of the day, today is For your like, day. And uh, how much is a foot long now? Like 25 bucks? Oh, they're so expensive. They're like at least $18. Yeah. 25. <laughs> yeah. 25. $25. No. You know why they're so mad, though, man? <laughs> Artists, right? Artists are usually pretty, uh, pretty surly, right? Because like they're focused on their art. And these guys are sandwich artists. Yeah, it's, it's, no one call them sandwich doctors. No one's been coming out to see their work. And then when the work, <laughs> the play, price of the work went up, I play God with playing. sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you it's get a good one, it is mesmerizing because they do take it very seriously. Um, but anyway, you might not ever have to walk another subway again because they have unveiled their new subway. This is really um, long. Grab and go vending machine. No, they did not. They belong. They belong mm -hmm. in a vending machine. No, they did not. <laughs> Tell me, tuna is not an option. Machine. Tell me, tuna is I, not an option. Oh yeah, anything that's, that's cold. That's the number is. one seller in the vending machine. Yeah, anything. Oh. It's called the go. It's called the grab and go smart fridge, and it'll have sandwiches, snacks, and drinks. And uh, they're gonna smart have smart fridge for yeah. dumb people. <laughs> yeah. Is it so thirty local, bucks for for a smart combo? Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So local franchises will make these sandwiches. Then they will transfer them in their uh, shitty cars to this vending machine. Yeah, no. And then you will be able to order this at hospitals, airports, uh, college campuses are going to have them. And you can also get a, um, a a contactless experience. So you can yell at you, the machine in case you, you, you're you a germaphobe and you want to order your Subway, pre-made Subway you sandwich touch without the touching the machine. Yeah, are, which are makes they, no sense. Are they still keeping their uh, slogan? And eat fresh because that's tough mark yeah this, this is, is right. what franchises this is this is where franchises go to die yeah. remember, yeah, remember the ending machine yeah. this, is, this is a little caesar's move this is hot yeah. and ready move is it what is. it is it's gro Absolutely. it's a grosser version yeah, of hot, hot and ready is way better than this yeah hot and ready you go in the store and it's actually like hot pizza this is guys like, and, and how do you how, like if you like your sandwich a certain way with certain condiments how do you know if they made that variation of the cold cut trio or whatever like does well, it have burger does king have still number two in sales subway is going to be number pepper does it have Mayonnaise, salt and tactics. pepper. Like what this, I guarantee you that whatever wherever we're at in in the uh, the genesis of Subway, this started when Jared started messing with kids. That, that whatever wherever well, we are now, call, for sure, it, it's it's a direct result beginning of, of Jared end. messing with kids. Yeah. If I well, start having to like regularly go to uh, a Subway vending machine, I'd ra I want someone to kill me. Right. They, they, I, they, I, I don't, don't do want to be alive. I mean, like, why would you go to a subway vending if you're in a hospital and you're and you're waiting for someone to die? Life is only that, convenience. Yeah. yeah, only yeah. the convenience factor. That's the, the only thing. Cafeterias oh. aren't that bad at hospitals, I've found. Eh. Okay. They're, they're also the overpriced. Some are just like the subway machine is going to yeah. be. So you probably go to the cafeteria. Right. Anyway, Subway announced strong sure. third quarter sales. So they're they're unveiling this new shit. Um, what? So, yeah, subway had a crazy. big quarter. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I trust the price by vending machine move. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Through the roof on sales. Right. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, um, we sold a third of the subs, but they were five times the price. Right. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. can I have uh, the soggy tuna? Hey, where's Jim? <laughs> Get up here with that twenty-five dollar foot long idea, Jim. Give me a hand. <laughs> have you ever? I mean, like twenty-five. <laughs> a wet sandwich, man. I know it's that's what it's going to be. Like, Cold, I, wet, and the rings. You know those rings in the vending machine? Just like put indentations in like the sandwich. Disgusting. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, bro. it sucks. If they I mean, put, everybody's if they put these in police stations, they'd be successful. They would. But you guys have bought a, 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 a like a 
a uh, vending machine sandwich before, right? I mean, like the Seven no, Eleven one that, that comes yeah. in, like the hard the hard triangle case. It's like the last thing you would ever get, but it's like you yes. have to get it because that's the only thing available at this gas station in the middle. Because of someone has a gun to your head and it's a prank, or you lost no. that. What you, yeah, it's people. It's people that have like dietary restrictions who go on road trips eat those. That's what exactly. It is. That's what I was gonna say. Road trips. It's like, hey, I'm starving. Road Look, there's a subway. Want to just get to that? You want to just get or, a subway? Or, or they'll be like, hey, we're gonna stop into this gas station that's a McDonald's. Like, I can't eat anything here. I'm gonna get the boiled egg. I'm right. going to the subway. In a bag. I don't I don't like being snooty, but um, if if you tell me you got a sandwich today from a subway vending machine, you're out. You're out of my life. Yeah. And I love being snooty. And I'm right behind. You're out. You, yeah. Yeah. It's tough. <laughs> it is. Tough. Keep it a secret from me, please. It is tough. Um, let's move on, though, guys. Yesterday, we heard about monkeys being used to harvest coconuts in Thailand. Uh, Hello, Fresh. Will told us about that. And everyone was all up in arms acting like they really give um, a fuck about these monkeys thousands of miles away. Well, let's see if those whiners do anything about this story uh, happening right here in America, where a sanitation company called Packers Sanitation Services, Inc., based out of Wisconsin, which cleans meatpacking plants and equipment, has been accused of employing kids as young as 13 years old to work graveyard shifts, cleaning equipment for um, companies like JBS USA, which is like the largest meatpacking company in like the world. Basically, here's a, here's some of their brands that they work with. I mean, just a plethora of uh, people they supply um, meat big time to. meat packers. Yeah, you're going to read some of these brands packers. or you're just going to run them down. You got a lot of brands here. Well, OK, certified Angus beef is one. Hey, that's one man. I recognized. Yeah. Um, the rest uh, are unrecognizable, but that's a lot of meat packing. Right there's there. a lot of meat packing. Wait, going go back on. one. It says right to ham. Yeah, right to ham. Calty, right to ham. Adams, <laughs> Dia, Hain. That's Parker. an American company, right to Country ham. Country Pride. Right yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, they. Hey they man, were, I got a, I got a right to ham. What do you want to <laughs> yeah, call like, this company? <laughs> it's the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the investigation found that as many as 30. I got a right to con confront my accusers. Yeah. I got a right to free speech and I got a right to ham. Right to ham. That's freedom, right brother. To right to ham, LLC. I'd eat there. Uh, so 31 kids were in charge of cleaning heavy equipment like brisket saws, beef dehorners, and a uh, 190 pound saw designed to cut cow carcasses in half. And a 13 year old boy suffered severe chemical burns from uh, cleaning chemicals that are designed to basically, um, you know, uh, deteriorate meat. It's a it's a caustic cleaning right. chemical. So it erodes the meat on these things and he got it on his skin and he suffered burns. Well, we had to use his little uh, tiny hands to get inside the crevices of that, uh, right. that meat. Uh, you, should, right. you should see these hands. They're perfect. I mean, these hands yeah. before these kids came along. I mean, these things never got as clean as they get. Listen, That's how old this kid hands. is. He looks 70 with these fucked up hands, but he's 13. Yeah. By yeah. the way, this proves it. Skin is meat. It, it erodes the skin too. So, Wes, are these are these U.S. workers? Are these kids working here in the states? Like, like in you know, I know they're yeah, immigrant, they're, they're immigrant in communities that 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 handle most of our our meat sorting in uh, the Midwest. Mm. Yes, so they are. Um, probably immigrant workers i would believe so oh yeah 100 percent. i mean a lot immigrant of the workers teachers, right, undocumented would be way easier right than a yeah, he told me that, that little, little American, bastard told me he was 19. listen you haven't seen clean number. until you've seen a 13 year old whose family depends on him clean right. a meatpacking plant you know that's it's, clean it's hard to replace look at yeah. his bad teenage mustache i mean bad adult mustache right <laughs> right <laughs> so they, they're working graveyard shifts and they would show up to middle school and teachers were complaining that these kids were like falling asleep in class look at these lazy immigrants <laughs> yeah <exactly. laughs> hey do any kids in your class smell like bacon, yeah. <laughs> but it's federal law that if you're under 18, you're not allowed to be working in these kind of places because it's a hazardous yeah. working environment. So they're right. in deep shit and children under 14 aren't allowed to work in any manner, um, according to federal law. And That's, for, so they, I mean, they can work on yeah, farms, not, certainly not in a factory, not in a factory like this. Family um, businesses. Right. Yeah. Family. Well, under the table. Yeah. No, you can um, do all right. sorts of jobs, but not certain jobs. Yep. You can't yeah. be a factory uh, meat saw cl cleanser. Right. No, you can't. So we'll see. That's I mean, it's a big, huge company that that and, and, and the JBS obviously knew probably that these kids were working and cleaning their plants and they are a uh, huge billion dollar corporation. So they're going to be in some shit. Yeah. Price um, of meat's going up again. Price of Boy, the El Salvadorians up. have gotten shorter, huh? Yeah. Thanks, Joe Biden. <laughs> here's a here's a picture of uh, one of them cleaning there. <laughs> he's like, just like a baby. No. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, he's so small. Are you sure that's not like take your kid to work day? No, it's, nope, that's nope. why that's why they need they I'm telling you, they're like, well, they're they're a lot better size for cleaning these. Yeah, they can really get yeah. in there. These contraptions. Mm -hmm. so I'm right. telling you, that's right. none of these little fuckers have back problems. It's not nope. funny. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible at all. It sucks. J um, JBS. 
breaking the law. Let's move on, guys. Did you hear um, Ohio change Close our borders? Yeah. Well, they, they they just passed a law today that said they can't send people back. I think the ju- a judge. Great. Passed. More labor. Lower yeah. meat costs. That's right. Um, <laughs> you- well, no, 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 because the, the full sized uh, folks just aren't going to do. Now we got to educate them. We need the little ones. All right. So it's going to be American little ones or it's going to be foreign little ones. Damn it. Politics is hard. You know, what's fucked up is like probably some of these like young kids when they get too tall, they like they want they still want to do the job. Like I can still do it. They're like, no, I'm sorry, son. Too big. (laughs) Here's your pen. Yeah, it's like a roller coaster. If you're too tall for the line. No, I need need the money. Oh, man, that happens to uh, that happens to mules like like people that mule people across the border. They make buku cash until they're 18. Because right. once you're 18, you get arrested for realsies. Right. But until yeah, they're 18, so. man, they are rolling in it. Yeah. The um, guy, the, the hilarious uh, redneck with the you must be this short to clean this saw sign has got to be a scene at the JBS facility. Yeah. Yeah. It's the opposite of raised shoes. They're like barefoot. Yeah. He's wearing a necklace with little kids' fingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, you hear Ohio remind me. changed yeah. its tourism slogan from Ohio, so much to discover, to Ohio, come slay some mink. And no, mink is not what Ohioans call pussy, even though it sounds no. like what they would call it. Good clarification. because it's, it's like that yeah. animal that got cold during COVID, you're saying, right? Like a mink. Yes. Did they yeah. did they slaughtered during in COVID? Like yeah. Belgium or like whatever. a mink yeah. coat. Like, like, yeah. A Denmark, I think. Denmark, yeah. yeah. But yeah, Titus they slaughtered all had. the minks because they got COVID. Right. And then they set them on fire. They put them in like a pit. Yeah. They, they got zombie minks or whatever. So Instead they of just letting them, them have COVID. Yeah. Come here, rub the back of this mink. What? Imagine, imagine if I sewed this, <laughs> sewed this with the backs of a bunch of other minks wrapped around your lady. She'd be. Cool. I think it's a good name. Fucking sweet. Eighties and nineties. I think it's a good name for like fancy pussy. Like. Wes, are you kidding? Is is this actually a slogan? No, no, okay. that's that's not it. It's it's still Ohio. So much to discover. But all you're going to be discovering is uh, tens of thousands of mink because police are on the hunt in Van Wert County for uh, 40,000 minks that uh, got let go from a mink farm, probably by oh, some you know boy. activists. And they are now r- overrunning the town. Yeah, um, it's yeah. in the uh, mink farm in Hogland Township. Uh, Lion Farms, USA Mink Farm, and um, suspects are unknown, but they destroyed fencing and opened the mink cages. And now the town has a big problem because these minks, minks are pretty vicious little creatures. They yeah, they'll um, bite, they'll bite, they hunt, they will hunt for small animals. Like uh, yeah. if you have a chihuahua, that your chihuahua is in deep shit. Um, and I don't know if you guys knew this. Um, I've been on the, here. Here's the story. Here's the story. Hang on to hear this next one because you don't hear this every day. Tens of thousands of weasel-like creatures are on the loose in Northwest Ohio. The Van Hort County Sheriff says up to 40,000 mink were released overnight. It happened when someone broke into a farm near the Ohio-Indiana border. The sheriff is telling neighbors and farmers that mink are carnivorous mammals. They stick to a diet of fresh kills. They can be a major issue for homeowners and livestock owners. They're especially expensive and problematic for poultry ranchers as well oh, as homeowners with fucked. ponds filled with yeah. fish. Mink are known by trappers for being particularly challenging to catch. They eat yeah. fish and chicken and oh, Bye bye koi. Minks are absolute terrorists well, to the no, little we just immigrant learned, workers we just working at guys. the meat pack. <laughs> yes. Minks. Mink, if there's no S. Mink is like moose because right, uh, she made right. that very clear. There's no sure. plural version yeah. of mink. It's mink. And I, uh, I don't mink. know, but I went down a rabbit hole one time. I found this YouTube channel. It was it's called Joseph the Mink Hunter, and he's got like over oh, a million yeah. subscribers. Well, and he's he, got he's he tr- got he's got to be licking his lips. W- watch. Well, no, no, no. He uses mink to hunt for rats and stuff. Oh, so no. Ohio's never. This town's not gonna have a rat problem anymore, or ever a mice, mouse problem ever again. Or look a at cat this, problem, or, or a, a cat problem, yeah. or a small dog problem, or a rabbit right. problem. Right. Look, know, I bet a wild a wild cat could beat up a mink. Chipmunks. Not, are not, not have five of them. Yeah. Couldn't be done. Right. Not a pack of mink. They're a pack yeah. animal. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this video. Of this guy. This is Joseph the mink hunter. He's got one already. Oh, oh mink's got mink's a mink's position. Look at that. He uses mink to look at these that. giant rats. That is a big old boy. <laughs> My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the mink man. 
When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who are impossible to tame. They are. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally Aww. as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come Earth. join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. This is a spectrum guy, right? He's, he's a uh, yeah. 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 But look, he unleashes these mink in the Good wood pile, and the mink just go job. after these Good giant. Mink. Anyway, you get the picture. Good mink. Yeah. Uh, Do you think the mink understands it all, or just it just no. loves killing rats? Dude, they, loves they're killing. always fat. Dude, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at that mink coat. Look at the price on that mink coat. Well, he can't talk to animals. Eighty seven hundred dollars for that mink coat. That's cheap. What about this one? Twenty grand. That's chinchilla. That's it's mink and chinchilla. Oh, shit. I bet that's comfortable. Oh, my God. It's so warm. A natural on above mink. Look how happy that guy looks. It's even more classy. Yeah, he looks happy. He looks happy. Wow. So that's class. That's even classier than a scarf on a tank top, honestly. Yeah, if you know how to kill and trap mink, I mean, there's there's a, there's a lot of money being made because these these came from a farm that were probably going to be used for fur, so it's just it's just free fur coats running around out there now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Bad news for rats. Good news for the new shop that pops up is selling mink coats. Exactly. How many mink bad news for the guy with coat. the YouTube page. probably hundred so mink. He's going to lose his mind. All the minks getting killed and, and yeah. slaughtered out. Fifty nobody. to sixty mink, a hundred. And fifty to three hundred chin chinchilla. That's a really large range. So fifty to sixty mink. What is so? Let's say fifty mink. Three hundred chinchilla. That's what a hundred times forty. That, that's a lot of jackets that you can make if you have forty thousand. Make a million over a million dollars probably. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. Why is the why if the mink man stops you first though? He he's probably gonna true. go there. To, but to why is the chinchilla the range so large? Fifty to sixty mink. Two hundred to two hundred fifty squirrel. Fifteen to forty fox. One hundred fifty to three hundred chinchilla. That's I mean that's uh, some of that chinchilla fur goes bad yeah so yeah got to toss it <laughs> it's true. not all usable no it's if you know anything usable. about the chinchilla fur yeah. business when they get yeah. scared when they, it's how they're killed pat if they get scared <laughs> right you got to kill fur, them like, yeah. hardens yeah, up yeah. real quick yeah. Yeah. Bro, it yeah, becomes tricky. tough meat yeah, yeah. <laughs> right tough fur so uh, good, good luck to that town um and that brings us to the cream of the crop cream of the crop jeopardy is making headlines after a question they posed to contestants was declared tasteless and insensitive. And here's the question. Uh, it came in the column for things that start with the letter A. And the clue is, in 2021, fugitive Brian Laundry ended his days in Florida's Maya Kahachi Creek area. Ended his days. Home to these long and toothy critters. Was that, uh, what is Nutria? <laughs> letter no. starts with letter A. Oh, aardvark. <laughs> what are aardvark? It's, it's, that's, it's that's incorrect. It's alligator. It's alligator. It's yes. What are alligator? Yeah. That's right. People were appalled by this question, saying stuff like this is beyond but offensive. Why are they appalled? I mean, I mean, weren't they appalled with Bi Brian Laundry's actions? Exactly. Well, that's absolutely. What I'm saying. Just why tie it in, though? I mean, I guess that's, that's the that's question. A funny because, joke. because they it's, want to remind you what joke. a piece of shit he was. Right. Yeah. Do you think Gabby Petito's parents want to see that shit? No, no they don't. No, they don't. They probably ruin but, their Jeopardy viewing experience that night. But funny joke, nonetheless, by funny the joke. Jeopardy writers. Yeah. Um, thank God it was, you know, the much less lo like uh, Mayim Bialik who posed the question. So, you know, maybe yeah. they can fire her now. Um, well, Mark, what was the joke you made? Essentially, what they <laughs> were mean, saying is uh, what droppings did Brian Laundry turn into? Yeah. So they could have just phrased it. What animal turds did Brian Laundry <laughs> turn into? It starts with an A. Yeah. Alligator. It was a Kafka S <laughs> transformation. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, look, a guy, come on. I, I, I get, so who who came out? I saw the laundries came out against oh, it. Did the furious. Petitos come out against The, the laundries came out against The family it. that didn't yeah, help the for three months. Their, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a couple it, it, plays off the laundries. So yeah. did the Petitos come out against it? Uh, no, they haven't. They haven't. Uh, I, guess mostly just, I guess they did look, enjoy it. It's mostly just <laughs> been, you know, internet backlash. <laughs> the laundries did not come out against They're it. Like, the, la the laundries did come out against it. What yeah. the fuck are they doing? Yeah, the laundries came out and said that they want an apology. Weren't they culpable oh, in the really? murder somehow? Yes. Well, they yes. didn't help. Jeez. And they, they knew where the kid was the whole time. Yeah. That's yeah. Eat a so, dick, I mean, the laundries. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure everybody should be more appalled with that than the hilarious joke that was written by somebody, a writer on Jeopardy, who's probably fired now. That's right. I, well, the only thing this did is reminds me of how much I hate Brian Laundry and his parents. Right. Like, <laughs> Right. I wasn't I didn't feel bad for the laundries. 
did if the Petitos had come out and said like this is fucked yeah. up, I'd be with everybody who's like sure. this is fucked up. But because they didn't, I'm like, look, Fuck if they're em. laughing. I'm laughing. I mean, are you sure it was a joke? Because like, because Je- Jeopardy's thing. about as funny as the Big Bang Theory, right? And, they said and end Jeopardy his days. Joke. Well, that's ironic because she was on the Big Bang Theory. They said where he ended his days. That's a that's it's completely a shot. unnecessary to get the alligator. What yeah. was the what was what was the audience <laughs> yeah. reaction? What what noise did the audience make? Did they make uh, a, oh? I don't know if they did or not. I don't think so. I really don't think so. But actually, I was able to hack was in the, the Jeopardy's the question. Was starts with an A. That's yeah, it starts with an A. I was able <laughs> to hack in the, the Jeopardy's. Uh, too jaded, but it didn't phase me at all. I thought no. it was just like kind of a funny joke. It's a weird thing, but it's not. Yeah, it's a little I weird. think they fucked up, but I, I, I'm not like, yeah, you're the laundry's an apology. Right. <laughs> I mean, like, give me a break. <laughs> uh, but guys, Our murderous no son no would not have appreciated that. <laughs> you better treat them right. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to hack in the Jeopardy's uh, question database, and I found some even more of offensive nice. clues that they have coming up. Let's see if you guys can get the answers. Um, this is from the category same name. OK, um, Little St. James is part of this chain of islands where pedophile Jeffrey Epstein once called home the same name for the physical condition. Epstein and allegedly Bill Clinton preferred the girls they raped on that island. The eczema islands. What are the eczema islands? No. Nope. Canary. No. Nope. The underage islands. No. Nope. What is same name? Remember, same name. What are the James islands? No. Nope. What is Virgin? Oh, yes, the Virgin. Um, you should have got that. Yeah, yeah should have got that. Yeah. Got so. that. Are you sure? <laughs> um, here's another one from the same name. Uh, category I'm going to check. I got a method of checking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this one's a daily double. They have this, so okay. you need two answers here. OK, this fictional location's most famous resident and slang for the part of the body. Michael Jackson would touch on little boys at his ranch named after the same fictional location. Two answers. We need two answers here. What? Say that again. This fictional location's most famous resident and slang for the part of the body Michael Jackson would touch on little boys at his ranch. The ranch named after the same fictional location. Never, never. Land. What's the Peter Pan hole? Getting close. No, no, no. That yet. Yeah. What this is me? <laughs> What is Peter. Neverland and Peter? Yeah, Neverland. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. oh, he was a butthole guy for, yeah. the, for the record, yeah. Wes. I don't know if you saw the doc, but. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he was questions? just a butthole guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <they're laughs> real Everyone's um, mind went to butthole, just so you know. Yeah. If you saw the doc, Mark, is, I know your mind was on butthole. Will, I know your mind was on yeah, butthole. Was, I thought, no, it, was, I was thinking I thought Peter. it was Touch Yourself Island. <laughs> I was thinking Peter, but the same name thing threw me off. So I was like, yeah. Neverland. But. All right, here's here's one more. This one's the most offensive I was on there. It's crazy. Things that start with R. Uh, the last form of transportation many Jews ever experienced before mm-hmm. arriving at the concentration camps. Railway? Uh, tra- rail? Train? Rail? Sadly. Mark Goddard, what is rail car? Yeah. 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 That's that fucked was, up. That was fucked up, yeah. So, as you can see, it looks like they have some new writers over there. Wow, <laughs> Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah. Some more creative yeah, than insane. others, but offensive uh, nonetheless. Um, wow. So, Yeah. <laughs> Did one of us doing. get hired? I don't know what they're doing <laughs> yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but hey, that, that was brought to you by um, Upside. Um, and uh, inflation has us all thinking about, you know, different ways to cut back. Uh, I am not eating out as much, um, dining less. Um, you know, uh, we can all agree there's no nothing fun about less, right? That's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. So when I do dine out, I look at my Upside app and I say, oh, which restaurant is going to give me a little bit of money for dining out. And then I only eat at those restaurants because, um, you know, getting cash back while I'm eating is probably the best combination um, in the world. You know, you, ever, yeah, you, you like great. eating and getting cash back at the same I'll time. I'll have that for dessert. Can you send mm-hmm. back a course of dollars? <laughs> right. Yeah. So, you know, I'm cutting back on my lattes. I'm going now going to 7-Eleven for my coffee. No more Starbucks. Um, but with mm-hmm. Upside, I can now even exchange that money into gift cards for my favorite places I like to go. So I just go in the app after I've earned some money from my gas. I just say, oh, I want a gift card to, I don't know, Starbucks, something like that. Get upside and treat yourself. Don't go to the subway vending machine. That's right. So to get started, download the free upside app, use our promo code hard factor and get five dollars or more cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card and get paid. 
In comparison to credit card rewards and loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a four point eight oink, four point oink, four point eight star rating on the App Store. Uh, so download the free Upside app and use promo code Hard Factor to get five bucks or more cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more. Again, promo code Hard Factor. Hell yeah. Great app. Let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. Do you want to give the best holiday gift this year by a country mile? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably you can you can you can do it with paint your life at paintyourlife.com. Paint your life will create a portrait with anyone you want. Um, you can put them together, right? Uh, you want a painting of your children, maybe with the grandparents they haven't seen in a while or even ever met. Uh, you have a lost loved one, maybe a lost animal or not even a lost animal. I might get all five of my cats. You know what I mean? They're still around uh, with paint your life. Anything is possible, even meaningful designs and quotes. You imagine it. The artist will create it. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty awesome, guys. We've, we've been working with them for off and on for like two, two and a half, three years. And everyone yeah. that's ever gotten a painting for paint your life has absolutely loves it. absolutely loved it uh and we're all like oh my god paint your life with the paintings they're going to be expensive right no they're affordable okay mm. it's a great birthday gift it's a great anniversary gift wedding how about the holidays coming up i think so um mm. yeah so anyways you choose from a team of world-class artists work with them until every detail is perfect they'll send you like uh like here is this what you want and if you're like yes this is awesome uh you're done or you can say ah make a few changes please and they will a uh, very user-friendly platform go, go you want this do you want this and then do you, want this? you can you, have this you can have this if you exactly. want it it's fast you can receive your portrait in as little as two weeks so i mean it's come holidays coming up get on it but you can definitely get it in time for the holidays um yeah so and you can do a handwritten message with your painting it's it's just just the perfect gift you're going to win whatever you're trying whatever event you're trying to win with the gift you're going to win it Uh, at paintyourlife.com there's no risk if you don't love the final painting your money's refunded guaranteed and right now as a limited time offer get 20 percent off your painting that's right 20 percent off and free shipping to get this special offer text the word factor to 87204 that's factor to 87204 text factor to 87204 paint your life you know celebrate the moments that matter most um message and data rates may apply terms apply available at paintyourlife.com slash terms but one more time that's text factor to 87204 and mm. i've got uh a, a double uh pedo penis type venn diagram thing for you here um just talking about fun, dicks cool and i got a fun game too right uh first <laughs> up at his uh fifth attempt to get bail one two three four fifth uh, Cain Velasquez, the former two-time heavy- UFC heavyweight champion of the world, was finally granted a $1 million bail uh, for the attempted murder of the man who was charged with molesting his four-year-old son by Judge Ooh. It's About Time, a.k.a. Santa Clara County Judge Arthur Bocanegra. Oh. Should have been 10 okay. Oh. So obviously Velasquez, do you, but you do got to wait and see if it is him. So how much do we know sure. if, it, if it's him? It's a good point, Pat. We've covered this story uh, before, but quick refresher, about a year ago, 10 months ago, a man um, was charged with molesting, quote, a young relative of Velasquez. And Velasquez went on a high speed chase a couple of days after this guy was arrested, charged. He was like, let go for temporarily or whatever. Uh, and, and Velasquez found him, chased him down in 11 mile chase eventually they got stopped or slowed down side by side and he and he shot into the car multiple times he missed the 43 year old sick fuck pedo harry eugene gularte but did did strike his stepdad who was the passenger he suffered non-life-threatening injuries i think he's fine uh and the pedo's mom was in the car too she was not hit now that seemed rash yeah how do you explain that that crash that you're i mean that chase that you're in for 11 miles yeah, I think so uh, stepdad and mom is chasing me is funny story. It's a funny story, but it's a great ch- call, Pat. But I think um, I think they knew why, because while that seemed rash uh, and most people, I think, were still on Velasquez's side or like, you know, they were, they were like, at least let's hear him out. Wait until you hear the rest of the details. The pedo's mom ran a daycare and the 43 year old oh, fuck up was not an employee. He just hung around there because it was at his mom's house where he lived. And he took the kids to a back room where he molested them. Like Cain Velasquez's four year old son. That was the quote relative back in the day. We're like, is it his niece? Jeez. He took his four year old son back there and molested him over a hundred times along with other children. Oh. So every day, <sighs> this 43 year old dude was molesting every kid in the house that his mom ran a daycare out of. Oh my God. So, no, you got to. 
Yeah. You gotta like, kill. Oh, another day. The day. You gotta yeah. kill him. How, how, is this happened in Nevada? Right? They should just let Kane go to town on this guy. That's really what I'm should. saying, guys. It's a shame he didn't kill the guy. It, what do yeah. you? He missed him, right? And look, the parents running the daycare out of their house and letting their monster son take kids to a back playroom daily is at a very minimum not great right that screams joe pa at a minimum knowing the truth vibes like his mom didn't know he was molesting the bejesus out of these kids every single day i don't fucking think so that's uh, insane man it's anyways a, dude, dude that is there's nothing more scary for a parent than hearing these like daycare horror yeah. stories that's just so fucking horrible. what would you guys have done if you heard this information uh, what kane velasquez did exactly yeah. right yeah man i mean yeah. I, it's something that haunts you as a parent you think about it all the time a hundred times this dude did it. I used to yeah, ask I mean, my I would, son. Just straight yeah, up would, ask him. Yeah. Hey, anything, any, anyone, you know. Well, it's the whole funny? reason, like, when, when, you're, when you're bathing your child, you're like, hey, I'm going to bathe your testicles and your penis. Right. And, you know, you got to give, you got to use scientific names, like, butthole with your son so that <laughs> what if you tr- but, but but it's a protection honestly because yeah. kids will fucking go get touched and they'll be like they touch my wee wee and, and right. some fucking lawyer will be like well wee wee's not a penis is what it? if you trick him where you're like how was drawing today how was nap time how was beep when she touched your butthole yeah then, yeah oh no it didn't happen today okay good no butthole's the hard one it's yeah. easy to be like we're washing your penis now we're washing your testicles and when you go to watch you, you know you don't want to be like I'm, I'm washing your anus son yeah, you know, yeah. but you got to use anatomically correct words so, for j- reasons just like this. Man. Finally, he got or you can just bond. go kill the fucking piece of shit that touched right. your kid. That's right. Well, that's what came. Yeah, yeah. He's finally out of bond. He's back with his family. And he um, he did did say like uh, the, the judge said, if you're a devoted uh, husband and father, I have to believe and I'm confident you will not jeopardize anything that would take away from your son, your daughter, your family. And that he said that. And the reason the other judges didn't give him bail or whatever is because they he, they think he might be a flight risk because he's like got dual citizenship. He's Mexican American. I think. Dude, he, let him go also, back to he's Mexico. Got, he's got, this he's guy. got the, the the funds obviously to flee. Uh, but I don't think he would because he just seems like a pretty dedicated father to me since he went and tried to kill this guy that was molesting his kid. Anyways, let him take uh, the family back to Mexico since they got molested forever. The, wherever they're yeah. At. The silver lining is that this that Kane got bond, um, you know, and that hopefully I'm pretty sure like a jury will find him not guilty because he's pleading not guilty. Like the courtroom you might just so. I, th- I feel like the courtroom might just turn into everyone, including the judge, just ripping this dude limb to limb, this pedophile in the court. Oh, that's hear, an infuriating story. He's going to get off. Um, the Internet agrees with with us. Uh, pretty much every comment was one of two ways. One, mm-hmm. it was either Tim saying, are they sure he doesn't deserve a medal instead right. of jail time? Or it was uh, David who says uh, Kane should be sentenced to 30 days at the gun range to improve his accuracy. Hashtag. Seem, it seems yeah. like he did the police of that town's most important work for decades. All by himself by it's chasing just a shame that guy. He didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah, at least a, t- a time to kill. You should. They should watch that movie. Yeah, he's gonna get off. I have a feeling, but he's out on bond until the trial. Uh, next up, uh, did you guys call it go- time to kill? Yeah, it's it's now. The time is the time now. is now. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't like the hourglass was still full. I right, know it's a time to kill. <laughs> it's so. time now. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't yeah, a yeah, time it time was... to maim. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the details are even worse than what a... uh, than what I, I thought they would be. They are, I mean, Will. They are. It's, it yeah, wasn't. It wasn't a time for the judicial system. That's right. Oh. And he got away with it, right? Uh, next yeah. up, uh, did you guys go costume shopping for your kids this Halloween at like a Spirit or Party City or Walmart? Costco. I avoided it like the plague. Costco. Amazon. They're all pretty much the same. It, it, you see, you didn't get to see him in, in person, Pat, but they're all like the what the spirit, you know. Well, I go in every the, year to, the, to the, check the out the kit. chainsaw masks. Sure, like, there you go. The, they're <laughs> yeah, all got the got check on inventory, mm-hmm. right? They're like the, they got memed to death this year. Like it's like a plastic bag that has like four items that equals a costume, right? Um, right. Well, one mom went shopping for her kid's costume in Sydney, Australia, recently, and she was shocked to find. The genie in the lamp costume for 30 bucks smack dab in the middle of the kids section. And here is the genie in the, the, the lamp costume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's his dick. Rub me. Yeah. His an, pants are the lamp. That's right. Yeah. It's adult size male costume. It kind of looks like a genie centaur where yeah. the lower body's the genie lamp and the upper body's mm-hmm. like a human genie popping out of it, I guess. And it's, it's like that scene in Aladdin when he first pops out of the lamp. That's right. And then he's got the lamp is just a giant erection and it says yeah. rub me at the base of the shaft. Um, it's a great costume. Do they need the wick good. coming out of the the uh, That's the, the smoke. The lamp yeah. smoke. Is that it's the smoke? smoke. It is. Yeah, or, it or the cum. Yeah. The cum, yeah. Either way. <laughs> 
it's either or. Yeah, you um, gotta get the smoke. I'm about yeah. to smoke. <laughs> Rub me, and then it goes out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna smoke um, everywhere. All right, smoke. Yeah, it's a pretty great costume, but definitely not. Can for get kids. you a towel. <laughs> not for kids. Shouldn't be in the kids section, right? I'm no, assuming- it was a grown man in the outfit for sure. It says adult male costume, too. I'm assuming this is just the case of a low hourly wage teenager not paying attention when stalking, although the manager and no one else caught it. I don't know. Maybe it was a fun prank the store played. Yeah, 100 percent. And they pay uh, good at Party City. But yeah, it was it was it was a prank. It was a hilarious prank. I think it was a prank, right? The kids, it's just an erection, right? Long story short, uh, the thing got taken down because the mom raised a huge stink like Wes when he sees a uh, graphic Halloween decorations. The kids, oh my God. Um, and no one really got in trouble. But uh, it got me to thinking, what are the best adult male penis oriented costumes? Mm, um, mm. So now we're off the pedo thing, right? And we're gonna just going to look at some adult consensual uh, penis costumes. Let's see what we got. Okay. It's the Department of Erections. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's nice. nice. It's just a, it's just an orange jumpsuit with a perpetual boner. That's yeah. right. How, what what do they sell you to give you the perpetual boner there? Fifty it like bucks. A, it's a banana. Yeah. What exactly? What they just it? tell you to tape a banana inside your pants, or what is? It's it? a Viagra. They suggest and a jumpsuit. you get an erection. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what don't you tough. get about it will they give yeah. you a viagra yeah yeah you have there's, to have a bigger you have to have some type of prop otherwise you're I'm not sure gonna it comes the there's an extender all, all yeah. Like an, that. yeah there's an extender it's like okay. a flat it's like a ruler type thing mm-hmm. there's the, here, what about the snake charmer <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah the, uh so the, it's a man uh with a flute and there's a cobra coming out of his his uh his fly in his um in his genie pants. That one's incredible. Snakes his dick. This one's it's a nice a, one. This one's yeah. a little bit offensive. Good value this for thirty nine. This one's called. Yeah. It is. This one's called the bigger in Texas, and it's pretty graphic. It's just holy a giant shit. penis. Just a dick. So it's yeah. a man. Just uh, he's he's got boots on, blue <laughs> jeans, Wranglers. It looks like for Texas some reason Ranger he's wearing a like trench like coat. He's a Texas Ranger. Texas Ranger. And then you know he's, he's wearing the trench coat. <laughs> gigantic, yeah, yeah. just <laughs> you know what? <laughs> uncircumcised dong. Yeah, that's yeah. not even trying to hide it. It's just it's a giant penis. Dick this one's balls. a little bit on the uh, p- pedo side. The camp- happy camper morning wood. Oh, counselor. Oh, that's, yeah, that's creepy. Yeah. yeah. It's just like all the other ones, except a guy with knee high socks, Pet Adidas camp. three stripes. This Kids one's camp. too. This one's too far. Yeah. Camper yeah, shorts with a boner. Far. Camp it's counselor a, with a boner. That's adult weird. petting zoo, which is kind of not even that creative. It's just a guy that wants you to pet his crotch. Also like, weird because it's like yeah. mixing kids stuff with petting your crotch. They, they, they yeah. need to stop with that. This man yeah. did not model for this costume. He modeled for something else, and they photoshopped that petting zoo onto his junk. You want to check out a couple G-strings real quick? Yeah, sure. Obviously, the classic, the elephant, right? Oh, everyone yeah. knows. Everyone knows the G-string, the elephant. Mm. Um. This one, let's get a little holiday seasony. Uh, how about the uh, reindeer? To be, yeah, to be clear, these are all where your dick is like. So your dick was the elephant trunk. Now That's your correct. dick is the reindeer's nose. The Ra- snout Rudolph's of the reindeer. Nose. Yeah, yeah. These things are cheap. They yeah, are. they are. They're 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 cheap thrill. Great, great for one time use. This is my favorite one. I might have to order this one, but I got to get on it quick. Uh, the Thanksgiving turkey. Mm. Yeah, two dollars. Two thirty. Six, yeah, yeah, but it's shipping sale. sixteen. It's well Anyways, made. Yeah, <laughs> one size. Six. They get you in shipping. So, which one was your favorite, guys? Which which costume? Oh, the snake charmer by far for me. Snake charmer. Yeah, the snake charmer is pretty good. Not no, but it's 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 the Texas man with his with his junk just hanging out. Yeah, no, nah, vulgar. Now nah, the genie, the original genie, is my favorite. The, the genie the, the is good. You were mad about. Rub me. All right, and and a quick uh, bonus dog penis story. Um, this one's just some good old fashioned fun with your penis. Uh, bonus dog, seventy nine year old Japanese guy stuck a ninety inch that's a seven and a half foot jump rope in his pee hole and it got stuck. Here's the X ray. Jesus, what an idiot! What the fuck, man? People can't stop shoving stuff in their so, pee holes. Yeah, and it's how, for, it's, dude? It, well, it's because it's for they get pleasure out of it. There's like a term for it. Urethral people, sounding, will. Yeah, there it is. Urethral sounding. I was having trouble. I bought some batting to to fluff up the backs of my couch pillows, and I have like a stick. I'm trying to like shove that batting into like the couch pillow, and it, that's hard. Oh. I couldn't imagine shoving a, a like a limp jump rope Listen, into. All these guys have his time. Okay. But the logistics still don't make sense. You could have all the time in the it's world. It's also so painful. I just don't understand the the. To me, well, the yeah. I will not get till you try it. Uh, people can't stub and shuffle in their pee holes to get off. It seems these days, and this isn't even a younger generation thing. This this carad- caradine ass motherfucker was seventy nine. Okay, uh, when doctors asked him 
how he got the jump rope in his urethra. He said, hell if I know. And then when they told him they would need to right. perform surgery to remove it, uh, potentially not wanting to die a liar, he said, OK, I shoved it in my penis because it gets me off. It's right. called urethral sounding. And the seven and a half foot jump rope was like the talk of the town on my re- urethral sounding message board. Set a yeah. record. The sound is. Ah! Ah! <laughs> right. How is that? It's I'm just doing my urethral. Ah! I don't know. <sighs> Trigger warning. You want to see the post surgery? No. Yeah. You, you want to see it? Oh, you mean like all like messy? You want to see the, the, jump the, oh, yeah. the, the Is he jump jumping with it? Oh, just a jump rope God. covered. In uh, oh, so it was oh, it was it was one of those jump ropes that's that's like uh, uh, rubber. It's, it's like, like a, a boxer's jump rope. Yeah, it was yeah. like, it was like it's meant real, to fit in the urethra. It's, it's like, right. like it, no, it's yeah. just what, that's a real jump rope. You guys don't use it's those. A, it's the type of jump rope a heroin addict would use to to find a vein. It's, it's like a boxing rocky. jump rope. Yeah, it's a yeah, boxing it's a boxing rope. boxing. It's not like a playground jump rope. Yeah, Pat's thinking of the ones from elementary school that had like the little. Piece like a you guys nice macaroni one. That's the only kind of jump rope you can <laughs> plastic use. Plastic macaroni's. That would go through your double, double Dutch. Double, double, double Dutch. He knows how to jump rope. He also knows how to shove <laughs> jump rope. So there you go. There's your penis and pedals. Slap the shit section. out of people with those macaroni jump rope. Oh, man. Those are fucking so stupid. Oh, those are right. so stupid. The only reason they existed is to hear the click when it hit the floor. But it's mm-hmm. like so unnecessary. Yeah, cool. Well, no, this is the only kind of jump rope you should ever use, but not up your dick hole as, as a jump rope, you know? The, the How much do you like roping? I mean, I, I like it enough where I have a kind like that. I'm just not going to ruin it by shoving it up my pee hole like this yeah. guy did. That's yet. Yeah. No, never. Uh, in fact, uh, no, never, never. Not going to do it. Uh, but th- that's what the CrossFitters use. So you, if you want to CrossFit, you got to do that. Uh, and speaking of CrossFit, MTG and uh, politics and whatnot, Pat, nice bet on uh, Katie Hobbs. So, um, Call betting on Carrie Lake the mistake by the lake. So uh, I'm going to do <laughs> Cleveland. Gonna do a little do a little freedom funnel here. I'll put on. Oh the, wow! On the, there you uh, go. I'll put on the Democrat hat there for Katie Hobbs and a little freedom funnel uh, because I'm sorry to anybody who also bet on Carrie Lake. That was a mistake. Was she the favorite or no? She well in, in she polling, was the loudest. She was, she was pulling so well, and it, and everybody thought she would win, and then. No, like Gen Z showed up in Arizona big time uh, for the Dems like they did in other places. Also, right. my my bad for betting on anybody who was associated with Trump because they all lost. Carrie Lake, yeah. included everybody associated with Trump fucking lost. It wasn't a crushed. good thing. He yeah, didn't even so, announce her presidency, did he? <laughs> like, no, he's yeah, supposed you're... to do it right now while we're taping. Yeah. 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 I mean, a, it, so you probably... Trump is he really have, going to after that performance? He shouldn't. He, he no. may have lost every single race he endorsed and then announced his presidency right afterwards, which, which would just be disgusting. It would be hilarious. hilarious. He but yeah. hopefully he did for comedy's sake. Right. But we don't know because we're taping right now. But Pat, nice bet on uh, uh, Katie Dobbs. It's nice to be the secretary of state when you're running for governor. Here's the freedom funnel for her. Yeah, You don't want to make fun of the McCain's when you're running for an office in Arizona. That's just rule still, number one. You still draw a lot of water. Woo! Pat, it's funny you bring that up. The only tweet I have to reference this race that I thought was very appropriate. Look at this. It's Megan McCain tweeting a picture of her dad with a thumbs up and then Carrie Lake with the word loser over it. Damn. And two of our listeners, one very mm. Republican, one very liberal, both like the tweet. So somehow. <laughs> well, that's because that, that was on a series of Megan McCain being like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. No, I know. Bitch. But what I'm saying is somehow Trump has ter- has flipped Arizona, which used to be a red state, completely blue. Like and and, and everybody state. loves it because everybody fucking hates Trump. It's insane. But And Carrie Lake by extension, I guess. Anyways. All right. Nice bet, Pat. Thank Trump, you. Really. Hopefully he's in the rear view for. You know, for I don't know, I, never. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, you'll be back. Okay, frog of war, guys. Let's get through this one quick. Uh, lots nice. of frog of war going on right now. Um, that's a Kermit uh, holding an AR. That's the new uh, logo for the frog of war hmm. segment. That's an um, awesome logo. What is an AR exactly? <laughs> will be a uh, comment that be, someone's going to leave. This might be 3D printed. Does it it means know. aerial light, not assault rifle, dumbass. Look it up. <laughs> I've got one. Yeah, well, so does Kermit, because the frog of war is getting extremely loud right now. So loud, guys, that a missile struck Poland uh, from the Ukraine war on Tuesday, uh, and it sent the whole world into a state of preparing for a possible World War III. Um, Initial reports suggested uh, it was a Russian missile, uh, which has been confirmed by Poland, uh, that was launched into Poland directly, killing two people. But 
the DOD didn't confirm those reports. And now if you look online, like Polish media is suggesting, you know, maybe it could have been a Russian rocket that was shot down by Ukrainian defense systems close to the border. So it ended up going into Poland. But we do know is that it was a Russian rocket originally and that two Polish people are dead now. We do not know what was in the middle of all that. Yeah, um, we do know that that's not great no matter who shot it. Right. That's not great. Of course. Of Our course. people are not confirming that that it was that correct. It was and there's lots of reports in the from the ground in the area that it could Ukraine missiles could have been involved as well. Of course, President Zelensky of Ukraine is calling for NATO to invoke Article four and jump into the war already uh, like he's been from the start. Biden is calling for thirty eight billion uh, more dollars for Ukraine. Uh, Russia is saying it wasn't them. NATO is meeting today to discuss everything uh, and see what their actions are going to be. And all the while, the frog of war. Don't you trust us? <laughs> <laughs> Not us, no. <laughs> so, I, yes. saw a, I saw a Polish guy on TV today being like, my whole life, Russians have been apologizing for war crimes that they committed knowingly. It was like, that's well, his take on Russians. As also it, <laughs> Americans. So, oh, yeah, 100%. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, no, I mean, any 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 country that's big in the war game, and we certainly are, so is Russia, so is China, you're going to have that happening. Uh, yeah. Speaking of military mysteries, uh, remember, guys, when the Nord Stream 2 natural gas pipeline from Russia to Germany suddenly exploded a few weeks ago yeah. uh, in the Baltic Sea? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was crazy, right? Well, yeah. surprise, surprise, it wasn't an accident. No way. Two, uh, quote unquote, dark ships with their trackers turned off uh, 95 to 130 meters long passed by the pipeline right around the time of the explosion. Uh, and they were discovered by a company called Space No, who uses composites of satellite imagery all over the globe to rebuild basically security cameras uh, for any location on Earth. It's really why cool why would you name your company that when Space Yes was available, you know? No, because point. they don't want... But you want to know. They don't K want any space between you oh. and them. Space K-N-O-W. That's the... Oh. It's space. Like uh, night. Know the space. It isn't time of knowledge, day. Or space the knowledge. guy with the yeah. sword. I got it, guys. Exactly. exactly. So, but it is cool tech. So they just use satellite imagery that they subscribe to or different, you know, feeds they have access to. They compile it all together and they figure out like a a security cam and basically they saw these two ships with no big ships no trackers turned on went through uh and it's such guys good giving thumbs up as they're heading towards it yeah. i don't think they, they could turn the that, trackers that off clearly. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, what they thought that had them covered right <laughs> guys just, just cut the trackers turn the trackers off thumbs this is up. gonna be easy it's piece good. of cake <laughs> Now in space knows on. Just gotta problem. remember to do this one thing. <laughs> Why well, we even have trackers? <laughs> Dude, satellite imagery is fucking crazy. You can turn, turn the, the body off cam off. Got <laughs> Guys, the tech is so good that NATO hadn't even seen it yet uh, when they were asked about it by Wired. Uh, but NATO's spokesperson and Klaus Schwab acolyte. Oana Lungescu said, we do believe it was deliberate and irresponsible act of sabotage. Uh, yeah. And uh, they said that they've increased their presence in the Baltic and North Seas. Uh, but sabotage by whom, Oana, is what I would like to know for sure. Uh, and I think I hear something in the distance. Is that a ribbit, guys? Is that the ribbit of the Frog of War? Because mm. nobody knows what the fuck is happening at the Nord Stream Two pipeline. There are a couple. Uh, there are a couple <laughs> NATO guys. They're like they can't. Space no can't see inside my bedroom, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, we got the tracker off. It's fine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dark this, ships. This space no exists, huh? Let's do what you were gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So. Uh, that's two very frog of war situations we got going on. And uh, now not only have we covered the TikTok uh, is literally just a CCP spyware app that can get you here at home in the United States, uh, as confirmed by its own audits. But now uh, Reuters uh, reports that Russian software company Push Whoosh. Uh, that helps develop and maintain mobile apps has and has access to tons of user data in all of the apps that they support uh, has been sold as an American company as an app that's been incorporated into uh, the Centers for Disease Control, CDC websites, uh, servers and everything else. Uh, U.S. Army training apps, uh, UEFA, you know, the uh, European Soccer Organization, the NRA, Britain's entire Labor Party and over 8000 active apps on the Google and Apple stores. And guess what, guys? You want to know? Uh, you want to know a fun fact about them? Yes. Yeah. About, about Push Whoosh. Just like TikTok in China, Push Whoosh, which is headquartered in Siberia in reality, not 
America like they claim is required by Russian law to hand over all that precious data straight to the Kremlin and Daddy Vladdy himself. Push whoosh, of course, claims that they're not cooperating with their own government. It's got just such like a TikTok nice, did friendly, before the like, audits. Docile name, Will. It's got an innocent name. Push whoosh. Push, push whoosh yeah. sounds like the Russian word for queef. Yeah. Push whoosh. Yeah, yeah, push whoosh. It was, oh, did you it was push whoosh? <laughs> <push, laughs> <push, laughs> out yeah. the front. Oh, high five. <laughs> they push whooshed us right in our face. Ah, who uh, push whooshed? <laughs> Russia in American face. So, so, so basically, uh, you know, the frog of war is everything. They don't know it's a term it's for queef. <laughs> <laughs> It's the most sexy uh, thing a woman can do. Yeah. Push whoosh. Uh, yeah, I mean we're all we're all fucked. You know. So there you go, America. Uh, you know, uh, very in the middle of the frog of war these days. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I want to talk about Omaha steaks real quick. I had Omaha steaks for dinner. They're fantastic. They've been a sponsor of us for a long time, and the holidays are around the corner. Uh, but until then. We can enjoy this fall air. That means fall grilling, cookouts, tailgate parties, everything. Football season is still in a uh, massive effect. And the weather in a lot of places in this country are just changing. It's perfect grilling weather. Here's why I love Omaha Steaks. Omaha Steaks will send you, and I'm, I'm dead serious about this, because I always, when I'm, when I'm like buying for a cookout or like an event, I will spend cash at the grocery store. I'll go to Whole Foods when I used to live in Austin. I will go and buy a great cut of meat. And I always thought it was a game changer for that. I always thought I was getting a great cut of meat. And then when we got these Omaha steaks, I was like, damn, dude, this is just straight up the best cut of meat from a steak perspective that I've ever had. Ready to go. Push whoosh. Order where you want. Just absolutely unbeatable. Like I really like the butcher doesn't compete in my opinion. Uh, I made I made a flame and yawn tonight uh, for the lady and the baby and the baby was eating steak. He's not going to taste for another fifteen years. That's for damn oh, sure. Uh, but he was that. fired up, dude. He'd been he'd been rejecting red meat all day long, and then he had a bite of flame and yawn from Omaha steaks. And he was like, um, um, changes um. the game. Yeah, changes. Uh, the game. He's like, they, hand me the remote. Yeah. Uh, they <laughs> Omaha Steaks will will ship you get out of the house, Dad. It's yeah. fine now. <laughs> get out, baby. <laughs> Omaha Steaks will ship you perfectly aged steaks, juicy burgers, uh, chicken, dogs, sides. Their apple tartlet is absolutely insanely delicious. It's not just the steaks that are great, but they ship them frozen in this uh, in this container. It's like a cooler and it has dry ice in it. Uh, mine sat in my mailroom for two days and. Because whoops, I was out of town and 100 percent still frozen when it got there. It's easy. It's not a concern. It's going to come to your door frozen. You're going to love it. You throw it in the freezer. I've been making my steaks uh, from frozen. A little trick the PFT commenter taught me the reverse sear and it's the best way to do it. So getting them frozen, sitting in your freezer, you can't beat it. And guys, mm. it's the perfect time to load up on their incredible flavor. Uh, and they have 50 percent site wide. Uh, if you shop off. their friends and family sales, yeah. it's mm -hmm. absolutely insane. And then you're getting a discount on top. So, yep. Um, so all you have to do, and for some reason, they didn't put our promo code in here, which is crazy. It's hard factor. Hard factor. It's hard factor. Oh, okay. Word. So all you have to do is go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code hard factor, one word. And at checkout, you can get 30% off your order. Don't wait. Go to omahasteaks.com. 30 bucks off. Oh, 50 yeah. 30% 30, 30, 30, 30 30 off the site already, and you get 30 bucks on top. I'm a dyslexic. Everyone knows. Well, that. those, okay. those, okay. those symbols are similar, Pat. We get yeah. it. I'm not a numbers guy. I'm a taste guy i'm a flavor right. guy so yeah, yeah go to omaha steaks omaha steaks.com use promo code hard factor uh to get 30 30 bucks off your order 50 percent off site wide it's fantastic uh get after it you're gonna love it omaha steaks is perfect for those chilly and busy fall nights you won't come close to getting this kind of quality at the grocery store omaha steaks.com promo code hard factor check out oh yeah but, and also talk about winning oh, the tailgate and uh, there might a um, minimum order may be required yes what yes. yeah oh winning tailgate. the tailgate dude yeah. forget forget about it Forget it's like that. it's like the paint your life of tailgates like you're That's just right. going to win. You know what I'm saying? Like you you win. You, you're you going to have the best stuff. You do. Yeah, it's not about. All right. Let's wrap the show up, guys. Uh, this segment is called a fitting punishment. And uh, if you don't know, about a week ago, uh, King Charles and Camilla, they took a walk around York and they uh, they were met with more than just cheers and jeers. They were met, in fact, with eggs. Here's the yeah. clip of them taking a walk and someone throwing eggs at them. Good. <laughs> eggs. Oh. Eggs. Oh. eggs. Oh no, Doc, there's eggs coming.
See, that was the same clip from two angles. That's why you heard it twice. Yeah. Um, was that Charles? Was that was that King Charles saying? That? Yeah, I mean they were almost hit with eggs. It was a disaster. You can hear. You, can, you, you heard Charles say eggs. Who throws eggs? And Camilla said something like, "Look out, duck! Someone's throwing eggs. Are there eggs coming?" Charles and Camilla were all over it. They they, they could see the eggs right away. Yeah. yeah. They they also suck. I don't know if you guys watch The Crown at all. Suck My egg. Watches it. Man, they suck. They oh, suck yeah. eggs. I think we've covered that on the show. We're not exactly. I didn't really know Charles until I watched Camilla The Crown fans. with my wife just a little bit. Oh, and yeah. I, I, man, what? I haven't watched The Crown. Gonna watch it. Uh, it looks like a really great show in terms of how they dramatize uh, the truth, which it's is not tough, great for Charles and Camilla. A tough thing. To I heard this season's not so hot, but I, 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 I'm caught up to this season. And it's a good well, show. let's be honest. Neither is Princess Di's haircut. A uh, hot lady, terrible haircut, negative mm-hmm. boners for me. I don't really want to go revisit. That's okay. R.I.P. Though she was mm-hmm. like the one cool. One she was great. Day. It was just the haircut that was stupid. Anyway, they got hit with eggs. Melody. Eggs. Who throws eggs, guys? Turns out it was twenty-three-year-old University of York student <laughs> Patrick Thelwell. <laughs> Look at that dude. Guy. What yeah. a mugshot, dude! That was worth it. This mugshot's the coolest mugshot ever. <laughs> He's being drug out by two cops, like <laughs> maybe even more cops behind him. That that's a great mugshot. The face yeah. on all three of them is excellent. <laughs> Yeah. So well through the eggs to bring uh, bring attention to climate change as a protest. He said, quote, what? if, if that, that is what we take as someone who has done the most for climate change, it shows you how low we have sunk. He so. didn't even hit him, though. Maybe if, if you would have if you would have nailed Charles like in the eye with an egg, he would have done maybe something. But he completely he, missed What does him. it do for the climate? Right way. <laughs> Nothing. Everyone no, eats eggs. So, so you talk yeah. about they, it. Were this is farm to farm to table eggs. Or? I'm actually kind of liking this. This is actually probably the smartest climate protest I've heard of because if there's a possibility of you getting hit with an egg and you're a world leader, that's the last thing they want to do. Now this kid, this kid didn't chuck the egg. He lobbed an egg. He was three about three rows back. He didn't nail Charles. He, he was uh, over seven. Remember, yeah, remember when the prone got hit with the egg? With yeah. Kind dude, of they, stop, these guys stop. do not want to get hit with eggs. I'm telling you, this Two this kid. Years ago was milkshake. This right. kid might be onto something. But uh, he continued on. This is a man who dresses in stolen jewels from Indian Africa and every other comp- co- colony. He's not happy with the crown. Uh, guys, Patrick got out of the clink pretty quick, uh, saying, quote, I was let out by 10 p.m., so it wasn't that bad, really. My wow. friends were waiting for me. <laughs> my solicitor drunk with his friends. Friends. was, was very good. amazing day. Yeah. It's a big, big day. So, guys, Everyone's what is the punishment? Drinks. What is the actual punishment for throwing eggs at the king? Oh, if you'd like, hit him, it would have been a lot worse. Right. If, if you break an egg on the king and it hits, gets on his face, if like eggs running down the king's face, it's got to be at least a year. Well, at before least. I tell you what the actual punishment is for throwing an egg at six the king. months, six months of like hard, like 100 hours community service. And you, you have get to get executed like, in North Korea for that. Well, I want to I want right. to recount. Yeah, no, yeah. Even if you don't hit him, you would. Right. I want to recount what the America, punishment they might. They might yeah. really fucking mm-hmm. up. I want to recount what the punishment is for throwing a shoe. At our one-time king, George W. Right. Bush. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Guys, if you don't remember, if you're young and you listen to this show, uh, George Bush, he used he 9-11. He did duck the shoe, though. He did Un- duck the shoe. Ted it was an England, too, wasn't even it? even block the white claw. We're going to get into that. So he used 9-11 and the auspices of weapons of mass destruction that never existed to invade Iraq, dispose, yeah. dis- depose their leader, Saddam Hussein, who once tried to kill his father uh, in a car bombing in Kuwait. Um, and it turned out, sadly, that the weapons of mass destruction that never existed uh, w- his administration knew that, uh, but nonetheless, he yeah, started a twenty-year like war. Having a threesome with a ghost. Remember, right. uh, remember when he when he trotted Colin Powell out to the UN, and Colin Powell basically fell on the sword for his yep. entire administration. Yeah. That was wild. That's what a military man does. Career, yeah. But yeah, who knows? One hundred fifty-one thousand to a million deaths later, whatever. Uh, on December fourteenth, guys, twenty eighteen, Iraqi journalist uh, Mundahar Al Zahidi, uh, who was a little hey, bit. That's almost like if they had just done the annexation instead of this whole war in Ukraine, right? Right. Well, so, sounded like a good pronunciation there. M- Mundahar Al Zahidi was a little bit pissed off, right? Because the twenty-year war, and this is really only five years into it, he threw both of his shoes at George W. Bush during an Iraqi press conference. Bush ducked him, right? He was a cheerleader at Yale. Uh, he didn't get hit. Uh, the second shoe hit the American flag. That's where his real qu- oh, cr- crime was. Whoa. Uh, he did a year in jail. Yeah. He did go. a year in jail. Um, George Bush, now, it's you an attempted what you assault want. on the president. He got lucky. Of course, yeah. yeah that was that was that's, that's a, it was a shoe, and 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 the guy that really the criminal in the room was George Bush. But yeah, that's a okay, fine. Well, that's, that's a fine punishment. Whatever, but still, but Pat, still the president. You got to admit. George Bush, regardless of what you think about his mind or military prowess, he has some of the best reflexes, cat-like reflexes of a president. He did the watch this drive. He did he did the speech on the on the on the uh, aircraft carrier. That's got to take a little bit of balance. And then he dodged the shoe. And so 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd say like compared to Biden and Trump, I mean, he's just like surprised he didn't catch the shoe and do a shoey looking like an all star I mean, yeah, athlete. I agree, guys. There's no doubt about it. Back to Egg Obama boy. was doing layups when he was. I mean, like we need to get back to a president that can actually move. Right. An uh, athletic yeah. president. Yeah, we need a yeah. Teddy Roosevelt out there. I want to yeah. see the president dance before I vote next. Yeah, time. I want a Teddy, not a Franklin. You know Real what I mean? Time dance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Teddy, not a Franklin. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, Sorry, yes, I agree. It. I agree. The right. war crimes and whatnot. I want a TJ, lying, not a Taft. You know lying what I mean? about the yeah. weapons of mass destruction. Unfortunately, I don't think Can't the lying has top. gone anywhere, but uh, but but I would like the reflexes back. No, like my point is, the God damn it. The guy did. He ended up doing nine months in jail for throwing a shoe after this guy. Okay, so invaded maybe the that was slightly too harsh. But the guy with the egg. Tatted back to egg boy. OK, his current bail conditions are this, guys. Mm. They're simple. Here's his punishment thus far. He's not allowed to be within 500 meters of the king. Reasonable. Yeah. And he's not allowed to possess any eggs in public. <laughs> yep. Reasonable. What if Reasonable he goes shopping charges. for eggs? <laughs> Someone else is going to have to carry them. He has to have a friend with them. Yeah. He's got to have yeah. his, yeah, his, his Here, girlfriend carry eggs. the eggs. He can't those are his those two eggs. punishments thus far. <laughs> That's going to do it for Hard Factor, guys. No eggs in public. <laughs> do you want to do the wheel or no? Did he throw? Let's get the wheel up. Did he throw a yeah, shoe at me? Yeah. Nine months in jail. Honestly, Who throws a shoe? Honestly, Did he throw an egg at me? Honestly. <laughs> no, yeah. no eggs in public. That'll I don't mean, like, stop dude, him. I, I would say, enough. like, but busting on W is, is very fun. I love it. I love busts on ex presidents, but Trump and Biden have made it so, like, I don't even, they're just all those ex presidents just off my radar. I don't oh, 100%. Care. Need to be like, younger. <laughs> need them younger. Trump yeah. was a, uh, I mean, Biden, uh, Bush was a real devil in my house growing up, but today he would, he'd be welcome with open arms. <laughs> right. People would love him to have him back. Yeah. It's yeah. like Can crazy, get, man. Bush yeah. used to be the worst, man. Oh, wait, pass on. All right. Let's take Pat off the wheel. Mark, Wes, and Will, who will bring you the cup of coffee in the big time tomorrow? It's going to be steaming hot. Who is it? To That's me. Mark. It is. It's a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Why do we even spin it? Strikes again. <laughs> Thursday oh, show. Mark always okay. has a cup of coffee. Yeah. You can set your clock to it. The wheel loves it. Yeah. So set your clock to it. Buy some fucking merch, man. Uh, yeah. It's a recession. We got babies. Or Patreon us. We got yeah. babies and cats, and we need to support them. Sign up for feed, Patreon. Feed the hive. Patreon.com slash hard factor. It's five bucks a month. Click the button to subscribe and Spotify. Same thing. Yeah. And every dollar you spend on this merch is one dollar closer to one day making it to Hive Island. There you go. That's so true. Keep the so keep the dream alive. Invest in yourself, invest in us, and get out there. Have a great fucking day.